Hey guys, what's up? It's Sam Frost here from ReviewsBoss.com and in this video I'm going to show you really quickly how you can find blog content ideas using Answer the Public plus a couple of other little tips, tricks and tactics that I like to use when creating blog post content. So this is really focused on uh, any situation where you want to add more content to your website but you're just not sure what you should actually be adding. So my advice to you is really, really simple. The most effective types of content tend to be content uh, or content pieces that are focused around providing a solution to a problem. So just about the most crucial thing in affiliate marketing and really in any form of digital marketing and even online, uh, sorry, offline marketing, any type of marketing, any type of advertising is pitching a solution to a problem. Uh, so if you really think about it, what are you trying to do when you create a blog post on your site? What you're aiming to do is probably target some sort of uh, problem that someone's got. Uh, so unless you're going deliberately after like buy XYZ product or um, you know XYZ product discount, those kinds of keywords, in any other situation what you're probably doing is you're actually looking for a problem that someone's got and then you are going to use your content to answer that problem, use it to pre-sell the products you're promoting as an affiliate, and then try and make commissions that way. But it can be really hard, it can be easy to get stuck and not know what sort of content you should create. So what I'm gonna do you uh, in this video is, as I said, just really quickly walk you through how you can use this free tool, Answer the Public, which is available at answerthepublic.com, to come up with really good content ideas. Now we could spend forever talking about keyword research, and I'm gonna do heaps more videos on this channel as well as on my main Sam Frost digital marketing consultant channel where I'll be providing more general advice for digital marketing rather than specifically just for affiliates. But for now, let's load up Answer the Public and look at what you can do. So what does Answer the Public do? Well, apart from show you this weird video uh, background of this old guy who kind of looks like a sailor or something like that, uh, what it does is basically scrapes Google Suggest database. So uh, Google Suggest you'll probably be pretty familiar with when you jump on Google and you start typing things in, it will suggest results to you. Now what Answer the Public does is just puts that in an easier to use system. Uh, there is a pro version available, but for most affiliate marketing purposes, I find that the free version is totally suitable. So we're only gonna talk about that in this video. So what you do is you come here and you find the search box and then you put in your seed keyword. So it's given you some examples here, but let's say that we are running an affiliate marketing site that is all about, uh, let's say coffee maker. So we're gonna type in coffee maker. So you're trying to get people who are looking for coffee makers because you're promoting coffee makers on amazon.com or maybe you've got a coffee recipes ebook or something like that. Whatever you're doing, you put that seed keyword in and then you hit search and you wait for it to start loading up its results, which it's done now. So First thing you'll see right off the bat is this piece here, so questions. So it's showing us 117 questions that people are searching that Answer the Public is picking up within the Google Suggest database that you could possibly use to start your blog posts or to you know basically come up with content ideas that people are definitely looking at. So you can answer those questions and then you can turn those questions into traffic by ranking your blog posts or your articles getting clicks from Google and then driving that to your affiliate products or sign up pages or anything like that. So uh, here are some examples of questions that jump out straight away that you might want to use or you might want to tackle. So you could do something like this. Uh, what coffee maker gets the hottest? So someone's obviously looking uh, right here at uh, purchasing or wanting to know what sort of coffee maker actually gets the hottest in terms of temperature. Um, so you know, if, if you've got a coffee maker you're recommending to people that gets really, really hot, I don't know why you would want that feature necessarily, uh, unless you love drinking things that burn your throat and mouth, but hey, you might want to um, go after that. So it just gets the sort of creative juices flowing as far as content goes. You can see the questions are grouped by what, when, why, where, which, who, will all those kinds of things now if there isn't a um appropriate option for example who it's showing us which questions instead but still you know the, the principle remains this is really really good so um yeah what coffee maker makes the best coffee what coffee maker makes the best tasting coffee uh what else have we got here that looks interesting um here we go let's have a look uh can coffee maker make hot chocolate? Okay, this is a really good example of something that you might use to create an article or use as part of a review piece you're doing or create a standalone blog post. So I know this for a fact, I drink coffee, my wife doesn't, uh, she hates the stuff, but she would always be interested in a coffee maker that could make hot chocolate because she likes that. 
So what you're able to do here is uh, try and tap into that by looking for people who are searching for, you know, can a, can coffee makers make hot chocolate? Then you might do a blog post about that and say, well, look, some do, some don't. Here are machines that do allow you to make hot chocolate with your coffee maker. Here are the ones to avoid. And boom, suddenly you've got an idea for another content piece. Now in this video, I'm not covering whether or not uh, the keyword is necessarily good to go after, just purely how you can use this to start generating more content ideas for your affiliate websites and then how you can turn those into more traffic. So yeah, really, really good system. Um, you've got things like prepositions. So what this is doing is taking that seed keyword and adding stuff to the start. Um, I also believe sometimes it might add it to the uh, end as well. So not necessarily a preposition, but similar kind of thing. So here we've got, uh, yeah, here we've got a coffee maker without pods. So someone's looking for um, a coffee maker that doesn't use pods. So I use an espresso machine at home. Um, I think in America it's Keurig or something like that that people tend to use. I seem to remember one in the last hotel I stayed at. But yeah, basically coffee maker without pods. You might do a blog post or an article about that. What coffee makers work without pods? Um, you know, what about coffee maker without electricity? Okay, how can you make a great coffee without electricity? Uh, the five best coffee makers that work without electricity. Bear in mind, Google doesn't need you to exactly match the keyword to the search these days. They're pretty good at working out the context. So yeah, that could be a really good keyword to go after. Um, what else have we got here that looks good? Uh, coffee maker for camping. Okay, here's a cool one. So you might do a blog post about uh, making the best coffee when you go camping. Uh, people love going camping. I don't, I hate camping, but if you're into it, that's, that's cool. I totally respect that. Um, I know that people who go camping want to have something to drink, so let's do an article about coffee maker for camping, how to make great coffee while you're camping, uh, what coffee maker works best for camping, all those kinds of things. Um, so yeah, hopefully you can see now the idea of how this works to inspire your content. You've got comparisons, so you can look at things like, um, you know, uh, coffee machine versus an espresso. So what's the difference between a coffee machine and an espresso machine? Well, a coffee machine's a more general term and an espresso machine's that specific capsule system. Uh, what else? Um, coffee maker versus espresso maker. Okay, what's the difference? Well, coffee maker might refer to one that does your sort of more American style drip coffee. Espresso is a very specific type of coffee. You could talk about that. So as you can see, really, really, uh, good system, good tool for giving you content ideas. Um, I mean, here's a perfect example, you know, uh, coffee maker and espresso machine with grinder. So the problem here is that someone is looking for a coffee maker or an espresso machine that has a grinder built in. Um, so you could talk about, basically pitch your piece of content as the best coffee uh, makers and espresso machines that have a grinder built in so that someone doesn't have to go and buy another grinder and waste more time and money. Um, so yeah, really, really useful system for finding these content ideas. Answer the Public will also show you alphabetical uh, sort of keyword suggestions. So that's where it just takes your seed keyword and starts running through uh, the alphabet, adding on additional keyword ideas uh, in an alphabetical fashion. So, you know, coffee maker built-in grinder or um, what else have we got here? Coffee maker energy consumption. So you might write an article about, you know, coffee maker energy consumption, how to save money on electricity when you're using your coffee maker. Um, people hate paying for power. I certainly do. So it could be a good idea. Now, if you're wondering where these little uh, keyword volume measures come from, uh, these are actually from uh, Keywords Everywhere, which is a free Chrome browser extension. So if you don't have Keywords Everywhere, you won't see this. Uh, so don't worry if you see something slightly different. And if you see different numbers, also don't worry. Uh, at the time I'm recording this, my uh, Keywords Everywhere API is set to show any New Zealand data. Um, so obviously you're seeing you know, a, a tiny country with about four and a half million people. Uh, there's nowhere near as much search volume data. But basically, yeah, that's how you use uh, Answer the Public. So what you're able to do, once again, just to recap, is whenever you have a content idea or or you want to come up with a content idea, jump on Answer the Public as a first port of call, type in your seed keyword, so a topic you think might be interesting to write about or that you would like to write about, and just look at what questions people are searching, what problems they've got, what statements they're asking, what types of products they're interested in. You know, it's just great for showing you long tail keywords. In future videos, what I'll do is I'll cover a little bit more about how you can then take your Answer the Public results, expand on them, use some alternative tools, 
to get more data out of the system as well um, and, and go more in depth with keyword research. Uh, just to remind you as well on this channel, on my Reviews Boss channel, everything's really focused around affiliate marketing. Um, my videos are sort of just done in this screen capture format or I'll jump in front of my phone and I'll spin out some ideas. Uh, you know, it's not, I'm not claim claim to be producing the world's highest quality videos here in terms of production. All I want to do is show you some useful things along the way uh, that have helped me in my journey with affiliate marketing and digital marketing over the last 12 years. Uh, my other channel, Sam Frost Digital Marketing Consultant, I release far less content there. Um, but the difference is that basically, or well, the content comes out less frequently, but basically those videos I spend a lot of time on editing and planning out the scripts and all that kind of stuff. Those videos are really focused more at digital marketing in general. So maybe you've got an offline business or you do social media for your employer or you're interested in learning how to freelance in digital marketing. Um, you could go watch those. Even if you just do affiliate marketing, you'll still pick up useful information because the best affiliate marketers treat their affiliate marketing as a business, not just as a side hobby. So yeah, go check that channel out as well. I'll leave a link in the video description. Otherwise, do keep an eye out for my next video. Um, I'm gonna be doing heaps and heaps more on how you can find content ideas because really this is one of the key secrets to success long-term with affiliate marketing. If you're going after that sort of create a site in a niche, find a problem, pose solutions, and then recommend products. Really a lot of it's based around targeting long tail keywords and just building up your content base and then driving traffic over time. So we'll be talking a lot more about this in coming videos, but for now, thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, leave a like, uh, and I'll see you next time.